Top 5 Cryptids of Florida Number 5. Gator Man In the world of cryptids and unexplained phenomena, there is a creature that has been a significant part of Florida's folklore for decades, the Gator Man said to inhabit the swamps and bayous of Florida. The Gator Man represents an enduring mystery, standing alongside other legendary creatures like Bigfoot and the Dog Man. It continues to captivate the imaginations of both locals and visitors, embodying the wild, untamed spirit of the Floridian wilderness. The Gator Man, as the name suggests, is said to be a hybrid between a man and an alligator. It is often described as a bipedal creature, standing at over seven feet tall, with a humanoid body covered in scaly, reptilian skin. Its head, however, closely resembles that of a massive alligator, complete with a long, tooth-filled snout and glowing, red eyes. The Gator Man is reputed to possess both the intelligence of a human and the primal ferocity of an alligator, making it a creature of formidable power and cunning. The origins of the Gator Man can be traced back to the early settler tales of Florida. As Europeans began to colonize the region, they found themselves in a wild and unfamiliar landscape, fraught with dangers they could hardly comprehend. The sprawling swamps, teeming with alligators and other fearsome creatures, were the perfect breeding ground for tales of the unknown and the monstrous. Over time, sightings of the Gator Man began to accumulate. In the 1930s, a string of disappearances in the Everglades was attributed to the Gator Man by local residents. In the 1980s, a group of teenagers camping near the Okefenokee Swamp reported a chilling encounter with a large, scaly creature that stalked their campsite during the night. Even as recently as the 21st century, locals and tourists alike have reported glimpses of a large, humanoid reptile prowling the swamps. The existence of the Gator Man is supported by a wealth of anecdotal evidence, with countless eyewitness accounts and personal testimonies from those who claim to have encountered the creature. Some reports are truly hair-raising, detailing close encounters with a creature of incomprehensible strength and speed. Others speak of an almost supernatural aura that the Gator Man seems to possess, as though it embodies the very spirit of the swamp itself. To add to the body of evidence, over the years, numerous pieces of physical evidence have also been reported. These include oversized, humanoid footprints in the mud near the swamp edges, unexplained scratch marks on tree trunks, and unusual, scaly skin remnants, all purported to belong to the Gator Man. Several infamous photographs and videos have circulated over the years claiming to capture the elusive creature on film, though the quality of such evidence often leaves room for interpretation. I have a first-hand account that was told to me by a gentleman from Florida a few years ago. He said he was surveying the damage after a hurricane had passed through the Everglades when he came across the cadaver of a gator man. He didn't call it a gator man, but he described it as having a scaly humanoid body with the head of an alligator. I recall he said he was astonished by the sight and had believed the encounters I had relayed in the comments. I believe he left the body there and decided to let nature run its course rather than alert the authorities or tell his story widely. A fascinating aspect of the Gator Man is the role it plays in local cultures. It's not merely a creature of fear and horror but also revered as a guardian of the swamps. In some indigenous seminal legends, a figure resembling the Gator Man serves as a protector, maintaining the balance between man and nature. This portrayal underscores the respect for the untamed wilderness that the Seminoles, and indeed all Floridians, hold. 
In an attempt to understand the Gator Man, several researchers and cryptid enthusiasts have ventured into the depths of the Floridian swamps. These explorations, often dangerous due to the harsh conditions and wildlife, have yielded tantalizing clues but no definitive answers. The Gator Man remains elusive, adding to its mystique and allure. Despite the skeptics who dismiss the Gator Man as mere folklore, those who believe stand firm in their convictions. They argue that the Florida swamps are vast and unexplored, and it's entirely plausible for an unknown creature to evade discovery. After all, new species are discovered every year, some of which challenge our understanding of biology and evolution. In conclusion, the Gator Man of Florida is a cryptid that continues to fascinate and inspire. It represents the mysteries that still exist in our world, lurking in the corners where civilization has not yet reached. Whether believed to be real or not, the Gator Man endures as a symbol of the wild, untamed spirit of the Florida swamps, and it continues to captivate our collective imaginations with its chilling tales and elusive nature. Number 4. The Wampus Cat In the impressive mosaic of American folklore, few creatures are as captivating and elusive as the wampus cat. Its mystical aura not only permeates throughout the Appalachians, but also echoes in the swamps, forests, and coastal regions of Florida. While the wampus cat's origins are often traced back to the Cherokee and Choctaw tribal legends in the Appalachian regions, its presence in the folklore of Florida is significant and well-established. This fascinating creature is deeply embedded in the state's collective consciousness, subtly influencing its cultural, societal, and even ecological storylines. The Wampus Cat, as reported in many a Florida tale, is a formidable creature with a unique physical composition. It has the body of a cougar or a panther, a creature that Floridians are no strangers to, considering the Florida panther's native status. Yet, it is the wampus cat's other distinguishing features that set it apart from any known animal species. Glowing eyes that can pierce through the darkest night, a spine-tingling growl that carries for miles, and an uncanny ability to stand on its hind legs make it a creature that exists only in the furrow realm of the extraordinary. Perhaps the most captivating aspect of the wampus cat is its reputedly supernatural characteristics. It is believed to have the ability to disappear and reappear at will, making it nearly impossible to track. Stories passed down through the generations in Florida recount of hunters and explorers venturing deep into the woods, the wampus cat's alleged stomping ground, only to return with tales of bewilderment and wonder, their quarry disappearing as mysteriously as it had appeared. It is this elusive nature of the wampus cat that has fueled its enduring mystery and intrigue. While many believe that the wampus cat is a solitary creature, local lore in various regions of Florida describes it as being protective of its territory and, paradoxically, of the humans who dwell within it. This mysterious feline is seen as a guardian of sorts, keeping at bay harmful entities and negative energies. Anecdotal accounts tell of individuals saved from misfortunes and near disasters, crediting these miracles to the protective presence of the wampus cat. Florida's multicultural history contributes to the wide acceptance and adaptation of the wampus cat myth. Floridians, being a mix of indigenous tribes, settlers, immigrants, and adventurers, have demonstrated an inclination to adopt and adapt various folklore, including the wampus cat's tales. Moreover, its story seems to resonate with the state's broader mystical and folkloric themes, which involve other unique creatures such as the skunk ape or tales surrounding the Bermuda Triangle. 
the wampus cat is also a notable figure within Florida's ecological discourse. Its status as a cryptid in the state's wild habitats can potentially be seen as a metaphor for the importance of wildlife preservation and the mysterious beauty inherent in Florida's rich biodiversity. The creature's elusive presence in the dense forests and swamps subtly reminds us of the unknown treasures that these ecosystems might hold, advocating for their protection and sustainability. Florida's vibrant artistic and literary scenes have embraced the wampus cat, incorporating its mystery and enigma into various works. From haunting songs and chilling novels to beautiful paintings and captivating performances, the wampus cat continues to inspire and intrigue, much like the elusive muse that it is. Its presence in these artistic expressions enriches Florida's cultural identity and reaffirms its importance in the state's folklore. In conclusion, the wampus cat of Florida is a complex and fascinating entity. Rooted deeply in folklore, its influence extends far beyond mere tales and legends, permeating the state's cultural, societal, and ecological landscapes. It serves as a guardian and a muse, a metaphor and a mystery, proving that while it might be elusive in physical form, its presence in the collective Floridian psyche is undeniable. The wampus cat, through its ethereal presence, adds another layer of richness to the remarkable state of Florida, making it a creature of great significance in the Sunshine State. Number 3. Lizard Man In the lush and expansive wetlands of Florida, a plethora of species thrive. This region's biodiversity is renowned hosting a variety of animal life, from common alligators and manatees to exotic flamingos and panthers. However, one creature stands apart in Florida's vibrant ecosystem, not a known species, but a mysterious, elusive, encrypted figure, the Lizard Man of Florida. Among believers, the Lizard Man is a unique and deeply compelling part of Florida's rich lore. Its existence, deeply entwined in the state's culture and history, makes them as much a part of Florida as its sun-soaked beaches and iconic orange groves. This entry will trek into the depths of this fascinating entity, exploring the historical accounts, purported sightings, and cultural implications of the Lizard Man of Florida. Accounts of the Lizard Man date back decades weaving through time to create an intricate mosaic of cryptid lore in Florida. As the story goes, the Lizard Man is a humanoid creature, primarily characterized by its lizard-like features, including scaly skin, elongated limbs, and piercing, often reported as red or green, eyes. The first recorded encounter with the Lizard Man is rumored to have occurred in the late 20th century. A group of teenagers, camping near the Everglades, reported being startled by a tall, lizard-like figure emerging from the swamp's murky waters under the cover of darkness. This sighting was only the beginning, marking the birth of a legend that continues to captivate both residents and visitors to this day. In the years that followed, Numerous eyewitness reports have surfaced, each contributing to the storyline of the Lizard Man. These accounts vary widely in detail, but the common theme is the encounter with a mysterious, reptilian humanoid creature, usually near swampland or dense forest sightings typically occur at night, lending a chilling eeriness to the Lizard Man's mythology. The Lizard Man of Florida has permeated many facets of Floridian culture. Its presence is felt in everything from local folklore and storytelling traditions to popular culture references in books, movies, and music. Many local events, including festivals, parades, and even haunted swamp tours, pay homage to this iconic figure, cementing its status as a key piece of Floridian lore. 
For instance, the annual Lizard Man Festival in the rural heart of the state draws thousands of enthusiasts, locals, and tourists. The festival's activities range from Lizard Man lookalike contests to staged reenactments of notable sightings, offering an engaging and exciting way for the community to come together and celebrate this cryptid legend. Moreover, the Lizard Man has found its way into the academic world. Some researchers, anthropologists, and cryptid researchers have devoted studies to the creature, endeavoring to understand its origins, whether it could be a yet undiscovered species, or possibly an entity from another dimension. The tale of the Lizard Man also intersects with local indigenous cultures. The Seminole tribe, native to Florida, has oral histories of similar creatures. These entities, often referred to as water beings, share many similarities with the Lizard Man, suggesting a potential cultural overlap. This intersectionality adds depth to the legend and demonstrates how different cultures can perceive and interpret the same phenomenon through their unique cultural lenses. The Lizard Man of Florida is a mystery, a figure that stands at the intersection of natural history, folklore, cultural practices, and local traditions. Its presence looms large in the consciousness of many Floridians, a constant reminder of the mysteries and wonders that the state's diverse ecosystem can hold. From its early sighting reports to its cultural influences, the Lizard Man continues to captivate and mystify, invoking a sense of intrigue, excitement, and sometimes fear. Its legacy weaves through the foundations of Florida's history and identity, creating a shared storyline that unites communities and continues to inspire curiosity. In the grand scheme, the Lizard Man embodies the spirit of Florida, vibrant, wild, and full of undiscovered mysteries. As long as the Lizard Man myth persists, so too does the enthralling allure of Florida's captivating wilderness teeming with secrets waiting to be unveiled. In this way, the Lizard Man is more than a cryptid, he is a symbol of Florida's untamed beauty, an icon that continues to spark the imagination of those who dare to enter into the unknown. Number 2. Skunk Ape In the heart of the Sunshine State, where the alligator and the flamingo reign supreme, there resides a creature of legend and lore, the elusive skunk ape. This cryptid, Florida's answer to Bigfoot, is known for its distinctive, pungent odor and purportedly large, hairy appearance. The skunk ape embodies the mystery and intrigue of Florida's diverse and unique ecosystems, exemplifying the state's inherent, natural charisma. The skunk ape legend spans centuries and has been embedded in the cultural fabric of Florida, as significant as the sandy beaches or the iconic orange groves. The earliest reports trace back to the indigenous tribes such as the Seminoles and Mikasukis, who revered the creature in their myths and traditions. They considered it a spirit of the wilderness, an embodiment of the raw, untamed forces of nature. In the 20th century, the skunk ape leapt into popular consciousness with numerous sightings reported across the state. The watershed moment arrived in 1974 when two distinct photographs, infamously known as the Mayaka photographs, purportedly captured the elusive creature. These pictures depicted an ape-like creature lurking in the background, its eyes glowing ominously. The authenticity of these photographs has never been proven nor debunked, adding a new dimension to the mystery. The skunk ape is described as a bipedal, ape-like creature, standing anywhere between 5 to 7 feet tall, covered with a coat of thick, shaggy fur, typically brown or black. Its most distinguishing feature is its strong, offensive odor, from which it gets its name. 
This malodorous scent, described as similar to rotten eggs, decaying garbage, or skunk musk, is theorized to be a defense mechanism or an attribute of its swampy habitat. The skunk ape's reported behavior aligns with that of other alleged cryptids, such as Bigfoot. It is said to be predominantly nocturnal, shy and elusive, rarely seen but often sensed through its signature scent. Some reports also claim that the skunk ape is a capable swimmer, an adaption that would allow it to thrive in Florida's swampy environment, abundant with water bodies. The Florida Everglades is the primary epicenter of skunk ape sightings. This sprawling wilderness, characterized by vast swamps, dense mangroves, and diverse wildlife, offers an ideal habitat for a creature as elusive as the skunk ape. However, sightings have spanned across the state, from the cypress swamps of Big Cypress National Preserve to the dense scrublands of the Mayaka River State Park. The Skunk Ape Research Headquarters, located in Achopee, serves as a central hub for all skunk ape-related activities, offering guided tours, educational material, and a wealth of eyewitness accounts. Many enthusiasts flock here each year, in hopes of catching a glimpse of this elusive beast or at the very least, learning more about the enigma that is the skunk ape. The skunk ape's influence extends beyond the confines of cryptozoology, permeating Florida's culture, tourism, and economy. The cryptid serves as an essential component of Florida's ecotourism industry. Every year, thousands of tourists and enthusiasts traverse Florida's wild landscapes, hoping to spot the skunk ape or capture evidence of its existence. The skunk ape has also left an indelible imprint on Florida's pop culture, appearing in books, movies, music, and art. Local festivals often feature skunk ape-themed events and competitions, further ingraining the creature into the state's identity. The skunk ape, shrouded in myth and mystery, remains a captivating presence in Florida's culture and ecosystem. This legendary creature embodies the spirit of Florida's wilderness, adding a layer of enchantment and intrigue to the state's stunning natural landscapes. Whether one believes in its existence or not, the skunk ape continues to fuel the imagination, highlighting the timeless allure of the unknown. The skunk ape stands as a testament to Florida's rich folklore, its vast and mysterious wilderness, and its penchant for the extraordinary. In pursuit of the skunk ape, one discovers not only the lure of the cryptid but also the diverse beauty of Florida's environment. This tale of the skunk ape, therefore, is more than just a cryptid mystery, it's a celebration of Florida's wild and wondrous spirit. Number 1. Dogman Situated in the southeast of the United States, Florida is a vibrant, dynamic state, teeming with countless tales of mythological creatures and cryptids. These tales date back centuries, playing a significant role in the cultural and folkloric landscape of the region. Among these, none is perhaps as captivating as the legend of the Dogman. This unique cryptid, which is reported to blend the characteristics of a canine and a human, has been the subject of numerous accounts and reports throughout the state of Florida, garnering a significant following of believers, enthusiasts, and researchers. The phenomenon of the Dogman is not exclusive to Florida. However, the region's unique history, geography, and cultural diversity have lent the creature an unusual prominence. According to local tales, the earliest encounters with the Dogman can be traced back to the indigenous cultures that once thrived in Florida. Oral tradition handed down through the generations speaks of an entity known as Man-Beast, a creature resembling a large wolf but walking upright like a man, echoing the traits of the Dogman. 
the early Spanish settlers, too, documented strange encounters with wolf-like creatures, adding a layer of European lycanthropic folklore to the already existing indigenous stories. This blend of cultures, beliefs, and stories has contributed to the creation of the rich and unique mythos of the Dog Man in Florida. Reports generally describe the Dog Man as a bipedal creature, standing between 7 and 8 feet tall when upright, with the ability to move on all fours when needed. Its body is said to be covered in thick fur, ranging from dark brown, gray, or black, as well as more rarely white or with multicolored patterns. Its most distinctive characteristics are its canine-like features, including an elongated snout, sharp teeth, pointed ears, and glowing eyes, often reported as red or amber. The creature is said to possess immense strength and speed, exceeding that of any known wild animal native to the Florida landscape. The Dog Man has been sighted across the state, from the swamps of the Everglades to the dense forests of the Panhandle, and even along the more urbanized coasts. Reports of encounters are as diverse as the geography itself, but they often share some common themes. One of the most famous sightings took place in the 1980s in Taylor County, when a group of hunters reported encountering a large, bipedal creature covered in dark fur. They claimed the creature had a snout like a dog, stood on its hind legs, and emitted a chilling, guttural growl. Another notable encounter occurred in the 2000s in the Everglades, when a park ranger reported seeing an unusually large, wolf-like creature standing upright in the marshlands at dusk. The creature purportedly had glowing eyes and ran away with great speed when the ranger approached. Here are a couple more recent, detailed encounters. Polk County, Florida. This encounter happened on June 12, 2020, near Lakeland. The eyewitness, who identified himself as Juicy J, was camping with his friends in a wooded area when they heard strange noises in the night. They thought it was a bear or a coyote, but when they shone a flashlight in the direction of the sounds, they saw something much worse. It was a creature that looked like a cross between a man and a dog, standing on two legs and holding a dead deer in its hands. It had fur all over its body and face, which was human-like but with canine features. It had pointed ears, a long muzzle, and fangs. It dropped the deer and ran towards them on all fours, growling and barking. Juicy and his friends grabbed their guns and fired at it, but it didn't seem to affect it. They ran to their truck and drove away as fast as they could while the creature chased after them for a while before giving up. Juicy said he was traumatized by the encounter and never went camping again. This second encounter happened on March 3, 2021, near Venice in Sarasota County. The eyewitness, who gave her name as Schmegma, was walking her dog in a park when she noticed something odd in the trees. She saw a large, hairy creature that looked like a giant dog standing on two legs and watching her. It had black fur, a long tail, and a wolf-like head. It had amber eyes that seemed to glow in the dark. It didn't make any noise or move towards her, but it gave her a feeling of dread and malice. She quickly turned around and walked away, while keeping an eye on the creature. She said it followed her for some distance before disappearing into the woods. She contacted the Dog Man Encounters website and said she was shaken by the encounter and felt like she was being hunted. The Dog Man has undeniably carved out a place within Florida's collective folklore and community consciousness. Every year, enthusiasts, believers, and researchers alike gather at various dog man symposiums across the state, sharing new sightings, discussing theories, 
and contributing to the growing body of knowledge about this mysterious cryptid. In some communities, the dogman is viewed as a kind of local guardian, protecting the wilderness and its denizens from harm. In others, it's seen more as a creature of mystery and intrigue, a living testament to the untamed and unexplored corners of Florida's vast wilds. The Dogman of Florida, with its captivating and terrifying blend of the familiar and the otherworldly, continues to thrive in the collective imagination of the state. Its presence in local folklore, coupled with continued sightings and encounters, provide a testament to the enduring fascination with the unknown, the unexplained, and the mysterious. As the years pass, the legend of the Dog Man endures, symbolizing the timeless bond between the people of Florida and the untamed, mysterious wilds that surround them. Thank you for watching my friends, until next time. Be safe out there.